And now to some good news. So the search for a cure for cancer has been boosted with the successful small-scale trial of treatment that has cured a dozen people suffering from rectal cancer. The trials carried out in the United States over the last two years has given hope to those working on treatment of cancer. As researchers say, they hope to replicate the study's results to treat other forms of cancer as well. Brenda Wanga has more. In the USS say they are on the verge of a breakthrough in the history of the search of a cure for cancer. In a report published in the reputable New England Journal of Medicine, researchers at the New York Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center say that 12 patients suffering from rectal cancer had been healed after being placed on treatment with an experimental drug known as dostalimab. The researchers' treatment plan had consisted of administering doses of dostalimab every three weeks to the patients for six months. This was to be followed by the standard treatments of chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery. However, to their surprise, the patient's tumors completely vanished after the treatment. Oncologists say although the trial size was small, the results are significant and could herald the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel, especially for those in developing countries where cancer patients struggle often unsuccessfully to treat their disease. Uh, it reaches a point when uh, cancer starts forming in the body. Most of the time our bodies are able to fight it off, but it reaches a point where you are not able to fight off and the cells start multiplying and they may destroy the, the body itself. So with this kind of immunotherapy, which we call immune checkpoint inhibitors, they come into the patient's body and um, stimulate the immune system to fight the cancer cells. The trials were aimed at figuring out how immunotherapy harnesses the body's own immune system to identify and destroy cancer cells in one's body. The cancer that the trial targeted, mismatch repair deficient rectal cancer, usually doesn't respond well to standard chemotherapy regimen. The administration of the medicine, however, seems to work here, as the trial patients have been cancer-free for two years now without resorting to chemotherapy, radiation or surgery. Immune therapy is uh, the future and uh, not all patients will benefit from it but we know uh, uh, a few will benefit uh, but it depends on the testing that has been done and once the testing is done and it shows that uh, that cancer type can respond to the immunotherapy, patients should be given. <laughs> The groundbreaking results now present the best chance yet to get a cure that researchers are calling a revolutionary treatment shift. The clinical trial is still ongoing as the researchers seek to find out if the same methods of treatment can be used to beat other cancers like gastric or stomach, prostate and pancreatic cancers. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.